Hi guys, welcome. My name is Mu, and we are. We just finished Test of Courage, which was a quite short game. I think I played a little bit over two hours, two and a half probably. Um, and uh, it was quite an interesting game. We we ended up being a person who um who that there's these things or anomalies called buffers in this world, um, and we are being put into a situation where we need to go through the game, and we need to uh basically solve the mystery of these buffers and why they're here and we go back to our old school i guess uh to kind of find out what happened um and this game is quite simple you have uh left and uh, right mouse click with right mouse click you hold items with left you you kind of interact stuff you can also use um you can also use like wasd to walk around it's very simple um very very simple mechanics to be honest um it was uh it was actually like i said short simple mechanic um there are a few puzzles that you need to solve during the uh, during the time where you play this there are going to be some enemies here um most of them like it's it's in in most situations the enemies are also very limited meaning that you can get into safety quite easily uh you will have painkillers that will heal your health you will have um relaxant that will increase your sanity if it goes too low because if your sanity becomes too low you're also supposed to die i guess um but yeah so it was uh so what did i think of this uh in general i kind of enjoyed it um i thought it was kind of fun it was a few cheesy jump scares uh but what i do like with this one as well is that at some point when there was a, a jump scare with quite a loud noise there was a a citation mark or or, or brackets where it said like loud loud is scary and that kind of made me laugh a little bit that they actually acknowledge that oh well yeah we put this loud sound here because loud sound is scary sometimes because it comes sudden suddenly which i thought was kind of hilarious um like i said there were a few cheap uh few cheap jump scares but in general i kind of like the scary atmosphere of this game um i it would have been nice to not feel so safe around the anom anomalies or buffers that are not friendly if that makes sense um i have to say there's also a few a very few points in this game where they actually have a little bit of humor in it which i'm not expecting in, in a in a horror game but i thought it was kind of hilarious uh, for example at some point there are going to be i'm, I'm not gonna tell what happened but i i thought it was kind of hilarious as well but there, there, there's a few very few very rare few moments where fun stuff happens um which i kind of liked uh i also felt that it was good for some of these puzzles they actually had a hint button uh for example the scramble the the words because i i honestly would probably not have come up with those words uh or i think one of them i put a, probably would have been able to solve um but yeah um in general i actually did enjoy this game quite a lot uh i i i thought it was kind of fun to play um so i'm i think i'm actually gonna recommend this one because it's it was fun like it was not the absolutely best horror game that i felt and i had like i wasn't scared all the time but i did enjoy the the atmosphere of it i did enjoy um to solve the puzzles with being in this scary place so i i did I kind of thought it was okay. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it then. Well you're just going to have to watch me dance awkwardly once again.